I'm David I'm Generation Equality. Hi everyone, I'm Wellumi. I am Generation Equality. Um, so David, what significant thing have you done to help a woman in a career journey? For me, I think um, I love mentoring and um, past couple of years I've had the opportunity to actually mentor um, a lot of bunch of women in that career. Okay. And there's one that I'm particularly proud of, of how she started. So for me, I think ladies have um, issues with um, coming, if they have like, um, because the tech space or, is more predominantly male. Yeah. So when they have like difficulties picking up something, they just kind of shy away from talking about their problems. Mm. So like if you actually are genuinely interested and you yeah. talk with them, you actually get to see how you could help them. So um, tell me, how do you think um, workplaces can make their spaces and policies more convenient and inclusive for women? Mm. Yeah, so three things come to mind. Uh, the first is around, because when women have kids, at that early stage when the child is a toddler, it's usually difficult to just move on from the child. You want a form of connection so that you're not too worried. So if we provide sort of a daycare in a workspace such that and well we could take care basically that kids can play around, their child minders of sorts there that can help them and then maybe the mom can just pop in during break time, say hello to their kids in the evening, pick up the kids, go back home. Um, that would be a long way to help them get back to work fast after their maternity leave. Another that comes to mind is concerning the restrooms. I've seen that as a problem in a few companies in Nigeria in which they just use the same restroom for both male and female and you have a bunch of people messing up the whole place. I feel like that should first of all be clearly separated and the one for women should be equipped with facilities that can help them, stuff like tampons, just regular wipes, tissue, that kind of stuff basically. Um, something else can be around boosting their remote policy, maybe after having kids, because the problem many times is if you just have a child and you go on leave, if you stay too long, it becomes difficult to get back in. The reason you stay too long is because you're going to be with your kids. So if you can do some remote work, maybe three months afterwards, I just start working again at home. It helps you jump back on your career, basically. Yeah, do some like that, primarily. Yeah. Hi, I'm Nike. I'm Generation Equality. Hi, I'm Tola. I am Generation Equality. Uh, so I'm going to ask you a question. Nike, what actions do you think everyone can take to help forge a more gender equal world? I think um, when everyone begins to have the same, when women generally, I'm going to focus on women because I'm a woman, when women begin to have the same rights and the same, um, should I say the rights, the expectations that men have, when it's not a crime to give birth to all female children, we still have people these days that you hear them say, who you born, now who you born, and then automatically that girl child is just assumed that she's not going to succeed or be anything in life. We also still have a lot of women earning less than their male counterparts in the workplace. So they are doing the same quality of work and then they are earning more. And for a lot of women, you have to constantly prove yourself even when you're in the workplace. So I think for us to forge a more gender equal world, world decentralized roles, it's not about being a woman, it's not about being a man. If someone is competent, let them do what they're supposed to do regardless of the gender. If you give birth to a male, female child, it doesn't matter. A child is a child. Those are my Okay. Uh, two. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, tell us about a woman that has had great influence on you and how. Okay. Uh, that would be my wife. Okay. For some weird reason, uh, I'll say I had to, she taught me how to unlearn and learn new stuff about gender equality. Uh, there was some perception, or I shall say, uh, should I say, illusion I had about so there are some things women should do and some things women can't do. And she was actually able to help me unlearn all the Nigerian <laughs> jargons we've got, we've been brought up to understand. And it's really helped me a lot uh, with how I treat women, how I relate with women. I believe everyone should be equal. Is on the Australia, like you mentioned, we shouldn't pick gender, 
pay, like you gave an example of women getting paid less than men for doing the same role. So I understood that. So people I work with, I treat them as equal, whether man or woman. So maybe that's about it. My wife was able to do that for me. That's great. Hi, I'm Olumidi. I am Generation Equality. Hi, I'm Sibian. I'm Generation Equality. Okay, yes, yeah, so... Let me start first. Let me start first. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I want you to tell us about a woman that has been of great influence, like in your life, your journey as a dev, and you know how, what did she do? Like, what's her? Mm. Yeah. That would be Omolara Dijon. Oh, okay. She's currently the... Yeah, I know her. She's the <laughs> engineering manager. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's the engineering manager, and... I mean, when I started out as, she was pretty much my first engineering manager and she pushed me. Um, Omolara inspired me how a lot of times here yeah, when there's a difficult thing to be done, okay. Omolara will tell you, you can do it. Like the mere act of telling me I could do it was enough to get me to actually do it. So yeah, it's been Omolara for me. So for you, yeah, um, let's see, what woman inspires you? Just tell us why. So I mean, this is a very easy question. Um, it's certainly my mom. Oh, um, I love the way she does everything. I love how she's committed. I love how hardworking she is. I love how genuinely creative she is. Like, it might just be doing setting up the flowers and then she's going to paint, the, paint it and make it look pretty. Wow. Like, she's very extra. Oh, wow. And I think... For me, looking at that, it really makes me know that I shouldn't just try to do things normally. I should always think like there's no box, you know. Don't just think outside mm. the box. Think like mm. there's no box when you're doing any little thing. If it's cooking, if it's cleaning, if it's working with people. And I think genuinely, I'm always very inspired about how she's very kind and very loving about everything she does. She's such a people person. She manages to just be amazing. I don't know does it, but she's the woman that inspires me. I want to be like my mom when I grow up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Moe. Hello, I'm Olamide. And I am Generation Equality. I'm Generation Equality. Okay, so what actions do you think everyone can take to forge a more gender equal world? Okay, for me, I believe in everybody should speak up when you see something is wrong when you see something regardless of gender now when you see something is being done to another person it could be in the workplace in the marketplace any social gathering you find yourself when you see something wrong you speak up if you see a woman being maltreated or you see something funny is going on at work, you basically just speak up so i just want to encourage everybody to speak up that's the, one of the things that we can actually do to forge a more gender equal world thank you Okay. Um, do you believe that women don't like or help other women? If no, why? If yes, how can we tackle this? Uh, so I don't think there is a one answer to this question. Some women truly love each other, some women don't. I think there's a special place in heaven for women that love themselves. But I also think that raising each other up and channeling power collaboration is truly a way that we can change the equation. Man don't take no dumb